Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first, pause the video and give it a shot on your own. Thanks. So first, let's read it. The scatter plot below shows the number of customers in a restaurant for four hours, so we've got hours here on the x-axis, at the dinner service on two different Saturday nights. The line shown models this relationship, and x equals zero represents 7 p.m., so we're starting at 7 p.m. Over four hours, I can it, then this is 8, 9, 10, 11 p.m. And we can tell that to these two plots for every hour. So one set of plots is probably, I'm going to infer, although this is not necessarily true, that that's one night. It could be one night. You never know. And then every point on top of it has to be the other night. Right? But we don't know which was which, of course. It looks like here there's two points at the same night. So they, they said basically at zero hours, 7 p.m., it's either 45 on one night, let's say, and then 55 on the other. At 8 o'clock, there's 30 on one night, 50 on the other. And then on, at 9 o'clock, there's 30 on one night, and then 40 on the other, and so on and so forth. And this line is kind of like an average of those numbers. It's a line of best fit. It's trying to get an approximation of what's going on. So what does the value of the y-intercept represent? That's the point where your line crosses the y-axis here, right here. At this point, this is the y-intercept here. Of course, the x-intercept would be down here on the x-axis. Uh, choice A, the average number of customers is 7 p.m. That's not going to work, right? Um, oh, wait. Actually, I think that does make sense, right? That's 7 p.m. And the y-intercept of the line is kind of like the average of those two. We have 45 and 55. Notice if you add 45 and 55, you see with the, it's kind of sloppy to me. So 45 is blue and 55 is red. In between, we have 50. So it's like the average number of customers, which is kind of like, uh, it's just essentially what the line of best fit is doing. Um, and the other choices you can read through them, the average, chain, uh, the average number of customers at 11 p.m., that would be the x-intercept. The average change, that would be the slope. The average change in the number of customers during the four hours of dinner service um, is also the slope, right? Just on a larger scale, or a slope on a small scale, or slope on a larger scale is just uh, the same rate with different numbers. They're equivalent. All right, so I hope I didn't talk you into confusion here. Essentially, you've got data, you draw a line, or represent it, and that's kind of like an estimation or modeling of what should happen. All right, I hope this helped. Thanks.